Hi guys, hope you enjoy the content, but before you do that, don't forget to give us a like on YouTube, it really does help out. While you're also giving us a like, don't forget to hit subscribe and of course that little bell button to get notified. Also, give us a share as well. But before you do that, you can go also get a contact with us via Discord. The link is in the description below. So, on to the videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 4 with the story mode. So, last episode, we helped out the Minutemen a few times, just a few side missions, so they would eventually help us get into the Institute. And we have finally, as you can see, put it together, the relay system. So it's time to talk to Sturges and head to the Institute. Hey, Sturgis. Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. I'm ready when you are. Okay. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. You don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. For some reason, it's frozen here. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it back from here. We need to go through that cutscene again, but we'll see what happens. Don't know what happened there, but it's meta loading. It didn't. Wow. 
lot of people out here could use a hand. Thing looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. It worked that time, I don't know what happened before, but here we are in the Institute. <laughs> are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... are 
not stable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. I've been looking for you for so long. Who are you? Sean. Where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who father? is Father? Father, help me! Where is He's he? He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father. <laughs> That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just as... as you are a parent to your son. To Sean. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far. And suffered a great deal to find your son. Well... Your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. It's really you? After all this time? Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. It wasn't... It wasn't right, what they did, taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. I think I see where this is going. Then perhaps you already understand why it was necessary.
for the Institute to acquire me. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course, but it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you've... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? So, you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They need your help, Sean. It's rough up there, to say the least. Oh, we've tried that. Surprise. The Institute once tried to help create a stabilized Commonwealth government. It ended in bickering, infighting. It was a disaster. No. We look after our own now. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of... What's going on here? Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father. <laughs> That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute. Just... I promised answers, mm -hmm. but I need you to... You have traveled very far. 
It's good to finally meet. I am. Yes, in the vault. But then you learn. Is it really so? And here. Mm -hmm. it to you, that at that time. Scientists, sure. so they followed the best. I think I see. Then perhaps the institute, plenty of that, even in their attempt. But then the inst I was exact. I am the. I have. Mm -hmm. What else? I think I've heard enough. Very well. The institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? Because of the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Your Institute has done some horrible things. Yes, well, the world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? The Brotherhood of Steel. They believe they're the only ones fit to control technology and destroy anyone who opposes them. And you would side with them. None have any true claim to nobility in this world. Those days are gone. But we are not the monsters we have been cast as. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? I just don't know. Just give it time. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities, Dr. Ao in SRB, Dr. Holdren in bioscience, and finally Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. It's an honor to have you here, ma'am. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's a doc. Oh, they weren't kidding. I don't know. You really are. Here. Most of them have lasted well, long right. past their projected I'm lifespans. Ali Phil. You ask me. You can think of me as the Institute's well. chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just. Wanted to find my son. 
and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here. Not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks Scanning. I will hide in his office. Subject identified. Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these un- to knock some heads together. We're all looking forward to working with the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Send a message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between so, us and pretty much all the other are. departments. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? No problems here. Good to hear. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Corsair should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask Robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Reporting status. All functions normal. Hello. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase three? You know I can't talk about that. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here, then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you, I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure that will come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work.
Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Dr. Lee? I'm good for now, thanks. All right. Pins. Don't have any bobby pins. Got it. Scanner's clear. Nice.
Sensor alert. An off enemy combatant reacquired. Weapon free. Yes. I don't think I can pick this. That's it. The latest synth generation is just amazing. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. Excuse me, doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. 
I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Uh, right now I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then. Please resist any urge you might feel to eat the specimens in the hydroponic garden. We are honored to welcome you here. My old man taught me that duct tape could fix anything. I don't think he was talking about bullet holes. Sanctuary, I knew you'd join us here, kid. Your energy is tight. Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, all right. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff I... No. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Only thing better than getting pissed is picking a fight. Am I right? Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. Only have to...
it's an off. I'll kill all you chem Sweet. <laughs> I don't ask for much. Just need a full bottle and some bones to break.
stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. What's That's up? Great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Is there something you need? No, nothing. Okay. The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement.
You building a collection or something? We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse. Right, I think that's going to be us for today. So we've been to the institute, we've met father, um, we've done all, you know, meeting all the people in the institute. We came back to Sanctuary Hills. I think what we need to do, well, obviously in the next episode I'll need to return back to Virgil and give him his serum. That's my phone, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> No, you don't like many things. Um, <laughs> so as I was saying, next episode we'll go to Virgil, we'll return him the serum, and these guys don't shut up. Uh, and then from there we'll probably need to help the Minutemen a bit more. And the, I think once we get to the castle, uh, I think that's when we get to take on the Institute. So until then, take care. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Fallout 4 with the story mode. Goodbye for now.